Welcome to another uh, lesson on finding an exponential equation. This is where you'll find the equation of an exponential relation where you are given two values in the sequence and the location of the two values. So given two values in a sequence where the fourth value is 21 and the ninth value is 112.94304, it says find the common ratio. Now you know that in a sequence, you have the first term, and then the second term, and so on. And in an exponential relationship, as you'll see, um, that this is supposed to be an exponential equation. It's a common ratio of b. Remember that the first term is then multiplied by b to get the second term, and so on. And so each term is a multiplication of b by the previous term. So by the time you get to the fourth term, you've taken this first term, we'll call it p sub 0. You've multiplied by b once, then by b again, then by b again, and then by b again. So you've multiplied by four times before you get to p sub 4, the fourth term. And then by the time you get to the ninth term, 4, there's the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth. To get to the ninth term, you've got to multiply by b 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So notice you've got the ninth term minus four, fourth term, you multiply by b five times, which means the, the ninth term is the fourth term times b to the fifth power. So you'd have to take p to the four, the fourth term, multiply it by b five times before you could get the ninth term. And so p sub nine is equal to, I'm sorry, we have p sub nine over in this document. Hi, and welcome to another video on finding an exponential equation. You're going to find the equation of an exponential relationship where you are given two values in the sequence and the locations of the two values. So given two values in the sequence where the fourth value is 21 and the ninth value is 112.943404, it says find the common ratio. So you know if it's the fourth term, in a sequence, first, second, third, fourth term is 21, and then the ninth term, the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth term is 112.94304. That means the common ratio is what you'd have to multiply 21 by one time. You'd have to go multiply by b one, two, three, four, five times. That means from the fifth term, the ninth term back to the fourth term, that is five times you have to multiply b by. So that means the ninth term is the fourth terms times b, the common ratio five multiplied five times or to the fifth power. So the piece of nine is 112.94304, piece of four is 21, and that's multiplied by to be the fifth. So you just multiply by 21. So you could have just started by taking that ninth term and dividing it by the fourth term. Now that would be b to the fifth power. So how do we solve that? Is we have to take this 112.94304 divided by 21, whatever that is. And we'll have to take both of those and raise them to the to undo the fifth power, we raise to the one fifth power. And so we're going to run our calculator for this. So we're going to take 112.94304 time uh, divided by the 21. I'll go ahead and get an answer for that. I need that to be in parentheses, really, and I'll raise that to the one-fifth power. Now, I can raise that to the one divided by five, and you know that that's the same as to the 0.25 also. You don't have, or 0.2, one-fifth is 0.2, so you can raise to the 0.2 power also. So that is 1.4 is our common ratio. B is equal to 1.4. And now to find the explicit formula for the sequence, remember the formula is of the form um, p sub 0. So I'm going to erase this, give myself a little room. So 
So we already know B. So let's do this. The formula <clears throat> here is uh, P sub N is equal to P sub 0, the initial value, times B to the N power. Since we already have B, we know that B is 1.4. We can use either one of these pairs. Now we can think of this as uh, N. If N equals 4, P sub N is equal to 21. So we can put 21 in here. P sub 0 times 1.4 to the fourth power. And that gives us, if you want to solve for P sub 0, we divide both sides by 1.4 to the fourth power. And again, we'll use our calculator for that. We'll take 21 and divide it by 1.4 to the fourth power. And that gives me 5.46647. Now, I'm going to typically I'm going to round that off a little bit. So P sub 0 is 1. Point, oops, I lost my number. 1 of uh, 5.4. I'll just go 5.466. We'll round it off to three significant figures there, three uh, places rather. So that would be P sub N is equal to 5.466 times 1.4 to the N power. So that's our P sub 0. We have to find P sub 0 first. So that's if you round it to the nearest thousandth. Okay, let's, let's do another problem. And let's talk about this in more practical terms. A population of bacteria that is growing exponentially has 200 bacteria after 5 minutes and 325 bacteria after 15 minutes. Um, it says find the growth factor B and the growth rate R. So if you recall, the growth rate is, a B is just 1 plus the growth rate, so we'll just subtract 1 from B to get R. That'll be simple. So here we can also think of this as a sequence, the fifth, the fifth term. That is, you can think of this as 5 is the location, and 200 is the population, and then 15 is the location, and 325 is the population. So we can do something similar here. If you had the fifth term, that means you could say the 325, this has to be multiplied, right? 200, you got to go all the way up to 325. If this is the fifth term and this is the fifteenth term, then that's ten times you have to multiply by the growth factor B. That is, the 325 has to be the B, the 200, the uh, original or the fifth one, to the times B to the tenth power, because this is 15 minus 5, which is 10. We've got 10. Um, minutes in between. So B would be the growth factor per minute. So we divide both sides by 200 and we get B to the tenth is equal to 325 divided by 200, which you can do that on your calculator pretty quickly. And that turns out to be 1.625. So how do we solve for B? Well, in that case, we're going to take the one tenth power of both of those. And of course, with one tenth, you can use you can call that 0.1 if you'd like, and I'll do that on my calculator. 1.625, 0.625 to the instead of putting in one tenth, I'll put in the decimal equivalent, which is 0.1, and that gives us b is approximately 1.1 zero, I'll put that back up there again so you can see that, 1.049748, but I'm going to round that to 1.05 because that's so close to that, 1.05, and that's uh, because this is a practical problem we'll round off anyway. So B is approximately 1.05. So if B is approximately 1.05, then R is B minus 1, so it's just 0 0.05 or approximately 5%, right? That's what R is, approximately 5%. That means it's growing at about 5% per minute because these are in minutes. So this is our growth factor, 1.05.
So now we don't have the original. Again, we need our p sub 0. But you remember the formula is p sub n is equal to p sub 0 times b to the n power. We know b is 1.05. And we don't know p sub 0, but we do know we have, if n is 5, p sub n is 200, or if n is 15, p sub n could be 325. In either case, we'll put our p sub n, remember, this is our p sub n, and this is our n, is here, and this is to the fifth power. And so now we'll just divide both sides by 1.05 to the fifth power, That will reduce, and we'll get our p sub 0. An approximation of p sub 0. We're going to probably have to round that off, because this isn't going to turn out real pretty, which is OK. That gives me 156.7 calculator. And so really 705 something. So I'm just going to say 157, because these are bacteria. So p sub n is going to be, our p sub 0 is about 157. And our growth rate was about, our growth rate was about 5%. Or, so our factor is 1.05 to the n power. I hope you found that helpful. This is the, and uh, I'll leave you with that, something to think about.